What? He's back? <laughs> oh, welcome back to my channel, everybody. It's been way too long, and I feel like I have to kind of like reintroduce myself. So, hello, Chads. Hello, Beckys out there watching my videos. My name is Christopher. I am a uh, graduate. I'm applying to medical school. I'm also really into health and fitness and nutrition. And my YouTube channel goes over all of that shit. So, welcome back. Good morning, everybody. What's up? It's your boy, Christopher, coming back again. It's been a while, guys. I've been on vacation. I've been at work and I've been itching to get back to YouTube. So I'm happy to be filming again. And I have a really uh, important subject to speak with you guys about today. It's gonna be a segueing into uh, what my channel is going to be focusing on in the future. So um, before we get started, I wanna start the video with a weigh-in because that's first of all gonna hold me accountable. And second of all, it's going to segue into the rest of the video. So let's get started. Okay, so, please excuse that, if you guys hear my mother. There it is, 206.8. It's about 10 pounds. All right, guys, if you made it this far, then you are rewarded with some clips of Chandler and I hitting our deadlifts today. So we had done a full back and bicep workout, but I just decided to include the deadlifts because I thought it fit in perfectly with uh, the subject that I wanted to speak to you guys regarding these. So uh, typically when I work out off camera, I'll do two sets of two reps and I'll do two reps on each set for my warm up. So I'll do 135 for two reps, clear those. If everything's smooth, then I'll go up to the next weight to 25 and I'll clear that too. And then I'll get to my working set, which is typically 315. I'll do my five to six reps and then I'll keep going up until I feel like I can't go up anymore. Today, however, I decided to do things a little different. Chandler on the flex. Uh, so I decided to do things a little bit different because I was you know, on camera. I just wanted to show some more reps I, I don't know, I just thought that you guys would probably think I'm not even really working out if I'm not, you know, clearing this thing at least six to eight times. So uh, I think that's what affected me, but it actually, it works perfectly with the topic of this video, which is, you know, when things go wrong in the gym. So the next clip you're about to see is me working with 315, which is a weight I can typically clear for about five to six reps, no problem. Today, however, as you're about to see, I struggled getting this thing up once and it doesn't usually happen, but you know, about after that, my mood was pretty much shot and I really wasn't in the mood to, to lift anymore. You know, I still did and I finished my whole entire workout, but it just really makes a big difference when you kill it and you're in a good mindset versus when you struggle like that and you're not. So I came down on the, on the last sets and finished off from there. So I wanted to ask, when you have these mishaps happen in the gym, how do you overcome it? You know, please leave a comment in this in the comment section below and let's discuss that. Thank you for tuning in again, guys, and I really appreciate all the support. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Later. Damn, bro. Sick. Bruh. 